New this morning, General Motors in Spring Hill is looking to hire a lot of employees on the spot today. Today's hiring event comes as the plant gets ready to roll out the all-electric Cadillac Lyric that's expected to sell out right away. New Channel 5's Cole Johnson joins us live. And Cole, we know these chip shortages have impacted a lot of places. Tell us more about what Spring Hill is seeing and what happens now. Good morning, Amy. They did feel the impact of the shortage, but their communication manager over there, Allison May, she says the plant in Spring Hill was in a better position than most, and they were able to kept, keep production running fairly well in comparison. But she says a lot of that is because they are producing some of the top most in-demand vehicles, so they need to keep up with production. But if parts aren't there and people can't come into work, May says it's difficult. She says when something is tied to COVID-19, it's hard to predict what it's going to do, but they have been doing creative stuff to keep it running. She mentioned even building vehicles without a part and storing them until they get it. Coming soon though, they have this new vehicle and they need to make sure they have enough people. They plan to watch the market and demand, but at this facility, they have a unique setup because they can build both gasoline and electric powered engines. May says it's something they're keeping an eye on to see how to flex. We feel so fortunate to be able to have, uh, have a footing in both. Right. So while there is all this excitement about electric vehicles, we also know that there are a lot of people that love the, the vehicles that they have today and the demand is still out there for those, uh, particularly trucks and SUVs are still selling quite well. So while we're excited about it, uh, we're also excited to have the opportunity to do both. And they're having that hiring event today running from 10 till 4. It's going to be at their visitor center. And we have more details linked online at newschannel5.com right now. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Cole Johnson, News Channel 5.